Hello. In this video, we're going to continue just to kind of look at the basics of strings and talk about how to access substrings, and that is part of strings. Now, as I go through this, I'm going to be talking about things that are Python specific, but again, I'm going to be thinking about more about general principles that apply to all languages. Python has a number of shortcuts, and so what I really want you to be aware of is that if you start using these shortcuts, early and don't focus on some of the earlier fundamentals or the longer way of doing things, um, that can lead to some challenges when you move to another language. Okay, so as we know, a string is simply a collection of characters. So I could say something like, um, I don't know, movie equals back to the future. Great movie. Okay, and we can look at this right now and we know pretty quickly that movie has has a length equals to, and let's count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it has a length of 18, and it has index values from 0 to 17. And we know that the index always goes from 0 to 1 minus the length. Now in our last video, we talked about the idea that I could do things like this. I can print movie at, and that square bracket is a way of saying at, zero. And what this will do is print out the character located at index zero. So if I come over here and I say python3 strings 2.py, I get the b. Now I could also say if I wanted the t for 2, I just need to find that character. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the T is located at index 5. So I'm going to say movie at 5. And I come over here and run it, and then I get the T. Now, the thing we talked about last time was this idea that, well, let's imagine I want the last character. Well, we could do this and say movie at, and then we know that has a length of 18, so the last character is located at index 17. So we say index 17. Now the one caution I gave you was that we want to get used to using a built-in function to calculate the length. Because if, for example, I change the movie, instead of saying back to the future, I said something like Star Wars, well, this no longer has a length of 18, and this no longer has indexes 0 to 7. So now we have a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this has a length of 9, and has an index is 0 to 8. So if I come over here and run this, I get an index out of bounds error, which is a really common error to look for and watch for. And what that means is I'm trying to access an index that does not exist. Now, a better way to do this would have been to do something like L movie for length of movie equals, and we could have used the length function to calculate the length of movie. And then what I do is instead of actually writing in the actual last index value, I say lmovie minus 1, because we know the last index is always located at the length minus 1. And we'll just show that just so everyone sees this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there's our last index. And so now if I run this, I get the yes, no problem. And if I put empires strikes back, now I run this, Notice I get the K because the computer is actually doing the calculation for me. And this is a really important idea to understand. Now, we can also pull out parts of strings using something called substring. And in this video, I'm going to just do the, the common way to do it. And I will make another video talking about some Python, Python shorthands. So the way substring works is substring is we write the name of the variable and then we provide a starting index and an ending index exclusive. So substring works where if I say something like movie a colon b, this will access characters from index a inclusive to index b exclusive. So what I can do now is if I want, let's say I have Star Wars here and I just want star, I see that the S is at index 0, so I will set A to 0, and then I want to go inclusive, exclusive, so I will go to the one value past the last one I want, 
So index three is the R. So I'm going to go from zero to four. And if I run this, oh, I didn't properly into my comments there. Let's, I get star, and I could also do print movie at. And if I want the wars, I'm going to go from index five, and I want up to index eight. So I want inclusive, exclusive. So I'm going to say five colon nine because again, inclusive, exclusive. I get wars. Now, last thing before we wrap up here, one of the things that's really nice about this, well, there's two things I want to talk about. The first thing is that you can find the length up here, is you can quickly calculate the length of the substring by calculating b minus a. So in this case, if I say 4 minus 0, that's going to equal 4, and we look, the length of the substring is 4. Likewise here, if I say 9 minus 5, I get 4, and we can see the length of 4. So this is something that is really important to get comfortable doing, being able to quickly calculate the length of the substring. Let's wrap up with one last little idea, because I'm hoping some of you guys see a little problem with line 19. And the problem is that, let's imagine that we went back to this idea of back to the future. Or no, let's go star wars, and let's put star wars with an exclamation mark on it. Now, in this case, notice I did 5 to 9, and I said I wanted the last part, this last word here. So if I run this now, notice I get wars, but I don't get the exclamation mark. I would have to come down here and manually change that to index 10, and then I would say 10 minus 5, which gives me the length of 5. But notice I had to do quite a few modifications here. Well, what I can do now is notice that 10 here is the length of Star Wars with an exclamation at the end. So I can actually calculate the length of movie right in here. And again, this is one of those best practices we talk about, is having the computer actually calculate the length for you so you don't have to type it in manually. And therefore, regardless of what the word is, you're able to calculate that last chunk. I hope this video helped. Um, in our next video, we're going to look at some shorthands that Python has.